Welcome to the introductory video for Microsoft Excel 2016 with Megan Reese. This nine lesson series is designed to help you become an expert in Excel. By the time you're finished, you should be able to pass the MOS exam, which is the Microsoft Office certification that comes from Microsoft. This may not be your goal as you go through these lessons, um, but it, and if that's, not, if that's the case, then you'll still be fine. You're gonna learn Excel in and out. It'll look great on your resume. But if you are taking the MOS test, this should prepare you. These lessons are set up in a certain format that every lesson follows, where you begin with the pre-assessment, where you decide what you already know. You do a practice where you learn each um, element and practice it several times. Then you do an application where you apply what you have learned in, an, in a real life situation. And then you do a post-assessment where you answer the questions again, what have I learned, answer some test questions, and evaluate your learning. And then you start it all over again with the next lesson. For some of you, this may be your first experience doing self-directed learning, and that can take some getting used to. You are going to be moving at your own pace, and you'll find that that's actually one of the best things about it. The old model where the teacher stands up and teaches it to you, and you copy it and turn it in and get your A, generally means you don't actually learn anything. You get your points, but a week later you could not reduplicate what you just did. This is a much more effective way, but it does take a little bit longer as you learn it on your own. Um, but you are get, get, do get to go at your own pace. So if you're slower, you can take your time and not feel like you're slowing the class down. If you're fast, you can just zip right through to the next lesson and not be slowed down by others. It also frees up the teacher to walk around and help people and get one-on-one -on -one time. You, you're much more uh, able to get help from the teacher than you would have before. So the teacher should be up and wandering around and helping um, while you're learning it through video. You can also go back and rewatch parts that you forgot. Um, and see it again if you can't remember even even days later if you're like oh I forgot how to do that you can always go back and check it again but the process of finding it for yourself is very important to your learning so when you open up a new lesson you're going to find that you have the video lesson and you may actually have the regular video aside from this is the internet version um, you may have you'll have the instructions that are in a word document and then the starter assignment that you're going to make changes to some, some of your assignments may have more. They may have images or other files you're going to be pulling in, but their core assignment has three things. The video, the instructions, and the actual Excel lesson. So first of all, let's open our instructions. This is our instruction page. It tells me everything I'm going to learn. Okay. Also, the way I've set this up is as you're going through it, you can check the box um, to say, yes, I did that. And I found that's a lot easier to kind of keep track of where you are. You're gonna to wanna to save this in your folder so the next day when you come in, you can pull up your uh, document and see where you left off and continue on from where you left off, okay? So um, one problem in my classroom and maybe in yours is that you may open this up and get the read mode view. So if you open it up, it looks like this, it's kind of messed up and it, don't, it doesn't let you change anything. This happens in my classroom. You wanna to go to view and edit document and that'll get you where you can actually come in and check stuff off as you go through it. So there's your instructions. The next thing you're going to pull up is the video itself. Now, what you need to understand about this video is it is not going to explain to you step by step how to, like, the actual assignment. It's not going to go through each of these steps and actually do it for you, okay? It doesn't do that. It only tells you how to do each thing. So when it says in here, um, let's see, just like, um, you know, highlight this and drag it over, so, uh, moving text. It just says to move it. It doesn't actually tell you how to move it. It just tells you to move it. So if you don't know how to move it, you're like, well, I don't know how to do that, then you're gonna come over here and notice that there is a table of contents, okay? And it's gonna tell you how to do, oh, moving text right there. I can click on it, and it's gonna tell me exactly what to do next, okay? So that's the, the way this video works. What I absolutely do not want you to do is to pull it up and just watch the video from start to finish. You'll get nothing out of that. Sometimes you'll hardly need the video at all because you'll already know how to do stuff, okay? only use it as needed. And of course, more lessons you get in, the, 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 the more you'll need it because you'll be doing stuff you've never heard of before. But um, So just follow the directions. If you don't know how to do it, go watch the video that shows you how, then go and perform it in the assignment, okay? That process is incredibly important. That is the process of asking yourself, do I know how to do it? Finding the answer for yourself and then performing it. That is what is going to make you learn this program and remember it and retain it and be able to keep it in your head. If I just told you, then you'd get your stupid A and you would have no clue how to use Excel. And that is the thing, the reason I've designed these lessons this way, 
because no employer is ever going to ask you what grade you got in this class. They're not going to ask you what grade you got. They're going to ask you, can you do Excel? Are you proficient? If you're taking the MOS test, then you can say, yes, I am. And here's my certification. Thank you very much. But that needs to be your focus on this is that you're trying to learn the program, not get an A. And if you learn the program, the A will come. It's a natural consequence. But don't let your focus be the grade. Your focus should be on learning the program. Okay. So there's my video. And the next thing I'm going to open up is where I actually do all my work. This is my starter. Okay. So your starter is going to always have these pieces. It's got a pre-assessment. Okay. It's got all the practice pages. Then it will have an application page where you actually do an assignment, like you apply everything you just learned, and then your post-assessment that you fill out, okay? So with your pre-assessment, again, remember how we said about taking control of your own learning. You just go through this and you ask yourself, do I know how to do that? If I do, check the button. If I don't, uncheck it, okay? Just go through it and see what you know how to do. You might have nothing. You might be like, well, I don't know how to do anything. I don't have any of it. But some of you might find in the beginning that you're like, oh, actually, I know how to do this and this and that, and I know how to do that, and I learned that in seventh grade. And you might remember a few things, and then it cuts down like you're like, oh, okay, at least there's something I know. Um, and it narrows down what you have to learn. And you know you probably aren't going to have to watch that section of the video because you already know how to do it. Again, take responsibility for your own learning. Don't just check all the boxes and get it over with and not care. Take your time and ask yourself, do I know this? Okay, because the whole point of this is that you learn the program not to get an A. Right? So then you go through and you do all the stuff it tells you. You read the directions it's going to give you, tell you what to do. You go through and you do all those things. This is practice. Now with the practice, um, it's kind of up to your teacher how it's graded. Um, I am not super picky about the practice. I don't need every single thing perfect. It's about practicing. It's not about perfection. But your application has to be perfect. Okay, then you're going to perform your application, which is where you apply everything that you learned. It might not include every single element, but it's going to require, require the key elements. So for example, in this one, this is what this will look like when it's finished. So this is the final product when it's done. This is what should be worth the most points. This is the application that says, see, look what I can create. Okay. So almost every lesson, with the exception of um, lesson nine, is going to have that additional um, application at the end that shows you actually using it. So the practice, you practice it over and over again, get it in your head, and then apply it in an actual situation. After you finish the application, you go to the post-assessment. This is identical to the one at the beginning, okay? And you just ask yourself, can I do that? Can I do that? Again, you could just go through and check all the buttons. I'm not gonna know the difference, but this isn't about getting an A. This is about learning the program. So ask yourself, you know what? I don't remember how to move text. I don't remember that. I better go back and watch that part again in the video. I better rewind that and check it again and make sure I've got it before I move on. Because chances are everything, and I'm not, not just chances, pretty much everything on this list, you're gonna be doing in all the future lessons as well. This is the basis, everything's based on this lesson one. So you wanna make sure you've got it down, right? So that when the next lesson comes on and it says merge and center, you're not like, how do I merge and center? You check the box, that means you get it. You'll never ask me that question again because you know it, right? All right, and these questions, a lot of kids just, oh, which one is it? Oh, they just keep pushing it until they get their check mark. You really want to take the time. These are test questions. These are questions that are going to be on your test, not your MOS test, but your classroom test that I write. Um, and you just want to make sure that you really know these things. And when you're studying for that test, you want to go back into this and read these questions again, because these are the kinds of things we're going to be asking you. Okay. All right. So, and they, they do, when you get the right answer though, they will get a little check mark and show you that you got it right. So as for printing, that, that may be up to your teacher, how it's done for me. I will require you to print the post assessment with your name on it and your application. I do not require you to turn in the, the practice, but I'll tell you right now, if you skip the practice, you won't be able to do the application. So make sure you do the practice as well. And as we get later in the lessons, when you get into lessons like six and seven, especially the answers you put into your practice sheet will automatically appear in your post assessment. So I'll know if you did it or didn't do it. So um, anyway, that's kind of how it's all set up. Um, when you're done, make sure you save often, save your, save your document when it's finished, and, uh, and turn both of those in, um, and that's the way it works. You're going to get your way through it, you're going to learn the program, you're going to know it back to front, and the rest of your life you'll use Excel all the time for everything, like I do, and be super grateful that you know this, this, um, this program. So good luck, get started on your journey, and we will see you in lesson one, basic formatting.